I'm here in the beautiful Tuscan countryside uh, on the hill of San Gimignano, um, or the hill that contains San Gimignano. It's a town that's up there uh, just a short ways. And I have wandered outside of it because it is quite touristy, um, very beautiful, but there's a lot of people. And so I have uh, left it and I found this. Um, the signs, there's no sign that describes it, but there are signs that point to it. And they, they say it's a medieval fountain. But this is the only thing that I've found that could refer to this as a fountain. And I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that that's exactly what it is. Um, I think that a more appropriate term might be cistern, perhaps, for storing water. Um, this is the only part that's even remotely a fountain, this pipe is seen better days for sure, and I'm not entirely convinced it's medieval either. I'd like to clarify that I have no doubts the structure itself is actually medieval. My doubts are about the pipe, and about it being called a fountain. I think that well, or watering hole, or as I said here, cistern, are more appropriate terms to use. There's a small channel there, which is also full of plants, but it comes around it is truly trickling. I must admit that I'm quite curious about the location placement of this particular fountain, cistern, whatever it is. Usually with works like this, they do not build them so far away from the town center. I mean, everybody in the medieval period lived way up there. You can't even see it. It's behind the trees, over there. And there's a well there, making me think that there's probably something more around here. There's one old building down there through the trees that I haven't yet figured out how to access. And it makes me wonder what really is underneath all of these blackberry bushes. I do believe that this medieval cistern was built over top of a natural spring and is fed by it, explaining its location, but still, people tend to live around sources of water, and I see a lack of medieval buildings surrounding it. There is, such as the image you're looking at now, fractures of what in Roman archaeology I would call opus signetum. It looks like a piece of flooring, tamped to lie and smashed pottery. But other than that, no medieval buildings around, where I think that there probably are, they're just underground. There are ten arches in total that make up this uh, cistern. On the left, there are four pointy gothic ones. On the right, more rounded ones. The furthest right ones, these two you can see here, are later than the other rounded arches. They're Romanesque, I'd say from about the 13th century. And I'd date the uh, earliest of the structure to the 12th century. And you can tell they're different because they have a, a support over top of the actual arch itself, which I'll highlight in the video here. It appears that there's some further piece of it down there. Let's go see what that is. All right. This part, I must admit, smells terrible. I think that, uh, some woodland creature probably uses it as a toilet. It's also in need of some maintenance. It appears that it, it, there's a channel in the wall. Water is running down it and there is a very obviously deliberately cut channel here. I say obviously deliberately uh, because there are cut stones like this one down it and a stone retaining wall behind those vines. That runs onto someone's private property where that uh, single building was that I showed you earlier. I do not know why this has not been at least cleaned by someone who knows what they're doing. Honestly, for all the people like to complain about medieval plumbing systems being less than functional, we sure don't do a whole lot about preserving what functionality they did have. <laughs> 